literally, it was like a boy. He was like the referee. So he come up, he's like, who else wanna, who else wanna fight? Why did my brother just offer me up? Like, because <laughs> I'm like, what the hell you He literally, he's in my ear, he's like, you should go fight him, go fight her. Go beat her up, go beat her up right now. Not my boobs being out, baby. Not my boobs being out. I should have did this off camera. Oh my gosh, I'm way for all this better. Hi, T Links. How are we doing today? Hopefully, we're doing absolutely another freaking amazing. You guys, what's up? What's up? It's your girl, Michelle. <laughs> my Michelle here, and I'm back at y'all with another story time. Okay, do I like my camera? Do I like my camera angle right now? I'm back with another story time, as of course, like. I'm doing story times. I think I need to incorporate like some other type of content, but I don't really know. If y'all just start seeing new stuff, watch the new stuff. I'm actually entertaining IRL. Yeah, just watch it. Nah, I'm back at y'all with the story time because you know what's so crazy? When I posted that last story time, it was about like me almost, well, we almost jumped this girl for being home. I was being so dramatic. We was not finna actually like jump her, but like if she was getting into a fight, if she did get into a fight, would be, uh, what I call her, Brittany. <laughs> Britney, if she did get into a fight with Britney and she started like whooping Britney low key, low key, I probably would have like kicked her, you feel me? But we wouldn't have jumped her like bad girls. Like, we was not gonna do all that, I promise you. Annotation above, y'all already know, is there for you. Please watch it, like it, and comment. Say something, I don't care. I was literally at work, okay, because that's why some of these videos be delayed. I'm so sorry. I'll be at work, y'all. I'll be putting I'll be putting at work. I'll be breaking my back at work guess what i'm gonna pre-record i'm gonna pre-record 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 so that this video can be up on friday another video is gonna be up the next monday and the next uh the next friday but i was at work and i was thinking about the time that it literally just popped up in my head because i was watching i was listening to another story time and then i was like oh my gosh bitch, do you remember the time that you fought at the park <laughs> i just literally slipped my mind because it literally happened so freaking long ago but no i literally had a fight at a at the park at the park my brothers were there everybody was there it was so great let me relax but we gonna get into that but before we do get into that go ahead and like this video just just like right off the rip you see a pretty face so go ahead and like like for the pretty face like for the story time and like for the fact that you are still here to this day amen <laughs> subscribe to the channel so you guys can see my pretty 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 face every monday and every friday with fresh new content that you guys are gonna enjoy you guys are gonna love it here stop playing like you're not gonna love it here if i just stay consistent and post entertaining things i'm gonna blow up i don't care <laughs> Subscribe for the pretty face. Go ahead and turn on the post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I post. Period. Go ahead and comment down below too. Tell me what you guys think about the situation. And tell me how tell me how your day is going. My socials are gonna be in the description down below and probably on the screen somewhere too. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok wise, you guys. I do not just post on here too. I also post mainly on Instagram and sometimes on TikTok. Oh, and as I said in my last video. If I get to 150, 150, the grand 150 subscribers, I'm gonna tell you guys a story time about how I found out that my little boo, my little boo, I don't wanna call him gay. I don't know if that's his sexual orientation, but there was a video that had got exposed of my little boo and he was doing some things. And it was not with another girl. It was with a boy. <laughs> but to remind you guys, I was 14 and he was 19. It gets twisted, but go ahead and hit the subscribe button because once we hit 150, I promise you guys, that's gonna be the first story time. Anyways, without further ado, now that all that stuff is out the way, let's go ahead and get to the story time about how I had to bop, 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 a trick at the park, y'all. Okay, so boom, literally, this is what happened. So I am the youngest child. I'm the youngest child and I'm the only girl on my mom's side. On my dad's side, I told y'all, my dad is bald headed, meaning he got like, seven to 13 kids i think it's eight of us it's probably eight or nine of us i'm the middle child over there on my mom's side who i live with who i've been living with for all my freaking life i'm the youngest and i'm the only girl i have two older brothers and growing up it was low-key shit show <laughs> like it was really it was something every single day because when we were all young not like too 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 young but like how old was i bro because i was so freaking young i really want to say that i was like no, no 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 okay at the time my brother was like older okay he was like a teenager but 
he didn't like he didn't see me fight because if he would have saw me fight then you know you know what i'm saying bop 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 everybody let's really talk about my second to oldest brother <sighs> We a little bit more closer in age. I think he's like 20, 22 now, and I'm like 18. So that's like, what, three, four. That's like four years apart. So like, yeah, let's just get into it. So yeah, I remember this one particular mother freaking day. Yeah, I, it, oh my God. So boom, it was right when we moved to our new house, the house that I'm currently staying in now. So right up the street from my house is a park, right? It is a park that everybody go to. It is known for having just a lot of kids there just every single day, especially when it's hot, baby. Basically, it was a gloomy day, a very, very gloomy day. I'm chilling in my room. I'm just sitting there probably twiddling my thumbs because y'all know I ain't have, I ain't had TV growing up because not that like financial issues or anything. I was just bad. I was a bad fairy growing up. So my mom constantly snatched my TV cards and did not give it back. So I I was just probably just stuck twiddling my thumbs just really wanted to get out the house it was during the summertime too but i don't know why during this day like this day during the summertime it was just so gloomy outside which is not normal in chicago because why is it gloomy outside why isn't the sun shining down on me kissing my face it's not for me to understand what happened was it was such a gloomy day outside and i'm just sitting in my room probably just I don't know because I wasn't reading a book. No, I was reading a book. You know what the book was? It was Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey. What am I doing reading this? Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm literally like nine. Like, what are you doing reading this? I'm just sitting, twiddling my thumb, probably reading, you know what I'm saying, bald head Steve Harvey. What the hell he got to say about relationships? I'm just reading. And all of a sudden, my brother had came in my room. When my brother had came in my room, I look at him. He looking at me and he's smiling. He was like, hey, you want to go to the park? I was like, hell yeah, I want to go to the park. Like, why do I want to go to the park? So I put my book down immediately. I don't know why I didn't shower. Before. I know I showered that day, but I don't know why I didn't shower before. Like before I went outside. Because I just threw on some clothes and then you already know I was right downstairs. So boom, me and my brother, we make our way up to the park. My second oldest brother. Now my oldest brother, because I don't know where he was at. He was probably doing teenage things with his girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> He was with me when we had walked to the park. So when we had walked to the park, oh, oh my freaking goodness. Oh my freaking goodness. When we walked to the park, we already know people there every single day. Though it was gloomy outside, it wasn't like raining or nothing like that. So people was going to be outside regardless. And it was humid. So it was kind of hot. You, you all know them type of summer days. We walked to the park and there is like this group of people just like huddled around so you know what i'm saying with me and my brother when we had went there we was like what the hell going on we was like what the hell is going on because why they huddled up is they finna start popping is they is they finna start popping shots <laughs> do we need to run <laughs> we didn't run but we like well we walked up and like at the time y'all you hardly know how kids be kids just be so freaking friendly like you could literally if you're like six you could walk up to like another six year old and be like hey do you want to be my friend and then they're gonna be so accepting kids was so accepting so that's what me and my brother did we had walked up to them and just like we joined the huddle and it was basically two girls fighting in the motherfucking huddle they was getting it in okay they really didn't know how to fight for real they was really just windmilling but like they was fighting nonetheless my mother still <laughs> My mama still don't know the story to this day. If she knows that, if she knew this story, oh my gosh, I think she gonna hit my brother probably, slap him in the mouth or something. But yeah, so it was these two girls fighting. They was play fighting though, you feel me? They wasn't really trying to go in, go in for real. So they was play fighting, all this other stuff. You already know the kids there was about our ages. Like I was young, I was like 10. So my brother, he was like 14 or something like that. He should he, he should have knew better. He definitely should have knew better. But you do stupid things with your kids. So yeah, it was like other girls like my age there and then it was like other boys um my age there and some were his age right <laughs> after they get done fighting they split they separate they like oh who gonna fight again who gonna fight again i look around because i'm saying like what everybody got on and stuff it already look about like three of those girls done fall her and then she been probably got the best of them because they hair was all messed up and their clothes was all you know what i'm saying shifting and stuff like that i was like oh <laughs> No, man. Basically, I don't condone violence. Oh my goodness. I think I should put this at the start of the video. I don't condone violence. I don't. I'm not a pretty, I'm a very pretty girl. I don't like to fight. But at this time, at this time when I was a kid, I was just down for whatever. I still don't condone violence. I should not have done this. But at the time, 
I'm just having fun. So basically, basically, so this is what happened. So literally, it was like a boy. He was like the referee. So he come up, he's like, who else wanna, who else wanna fight her? Who else wanna play fight? Who else wanna play fight her? Why did my brother? Why did my brother just offer me like that pissed me off because why did you should go fight her go fight her go beat that go beat her up go beat her up go beat her up look at like <laughs> I'm like what the fuck he literally he's in my he's like you should go fight her go fight her go beat her up go beat her up right now just go we taught you how to fight we taught you how to fight go beat her up and I'm just looking at him like I don't know what's going on so I gotta fight her so boom y'all oh my goodness they pushed me into the huddle they formed the huddle and they pushed me into it y'all I swung first what you wanna do I go like I swung first and I did not know how to fight y'all I was not trying to I wasn't fighting like this you feel me I wasn't fighting like this I was fighting like this you feel me I was just fighting because at the time at the freaking time literally I watched bad girls good night like you already know how bad girls get they be like windmilling and stuff like that and that's all i knew how to do so baby i was just windmilling it out I, I promise you guys my hair was down she had me by my hair i was pulling her i was grabbing her stuff too and then i was just windmilling it out you guys i am not going to lie we went three rounds fighting you trying to get down i'm not going to hold you guys like i was so up she was so up but guess what we both got the best of each other we wasn't bleeding or anything like that but like we was definitely just windmilling we was just fighting we fell on the ground i get on top of her oh my <laughs> like yeah 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 get her get her like y'all hype man my brother because crazy right so basically y'all after we done went like three freaking rounds we went three rounds of fighting non-stop just could like consecutive fighting we literally had to get pulled apart y'all would have thought that we were like the worst enemies we had to get pulled apart everybody was like get her some water um sit down like just try to you know say like we two boxes like we floyd mayweather and conor mcgregor like girl what so y'all Y'all, after we went three rounds, after I went three rounds fighting her, I kid y'all not, y'all know the ice cream chuck, right? <laughs> I don't know where the ice cream man is today. Like, I remember when they used to play the ice cream truck, like, song. You know what song I'm talking about. So we heard the ice cream truck. And that's what made us stop fighting round three. We heard the ice cream truck y'all so the ice cream truck it was literally like down the street it was coming up the street just trying to see like does anybody want some flipping ice cream y'all why the hell did me and this girl i don't even know her y'all that's the thing i didn't even know her i did not know her we stopped fighting right and we look at the ice cream truck and i asked i was like you want to get some ice cream y'all she was like yeah i'm gonna get some ice cream why do we go get ice cream why do we go get ice cream after literally killing each other for like 15 minutes straight y'all it was so stupid like, <laughs> we went and got ice cream after we fought like who does that like girl what did you <laughs> like just stupid just stupid like who thinks of that who thinks to do that but anyways yeah we had got ice cream afterwards and i was like you want to be my friend and she was like yeah i'll be your friend so we literally became friends how did we go from fighting to french beyond me but if you guys are wondering no i'm not still friends with her that was literally the last day that i saw her like i kid you guys not after we went and got ice cream my brother he was like come on let's go home we went home didn't tell my mama nothing because if i would have told my mom mom i got into a fight today she would be like what We did not want my mom to go off because if my mom would have, man, she would have went up there. And they probably still was up there when my mom had came home like three hours later. But yeah, y'all, I done fought. That was like my first fight ever. That was my first real fight ever because we was getting at it. I was pulling her hair. She had my hair. We was fighting like we was like two crackheads at a gas station. <laughs> it was so dumb, but like... 
I went that first round though. I ain't gonna lie, I went that first round. Just because I swung off of her and I had her on the ground and my brother had to give me up. I won that first round though. She might have had the second round, third round was definitely a draw, but it had to it had stopped. It stopped. It had an intermission. It has stopped. But anyway, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Like I said, go ahead and like this video if you guys like my story time or my storytelling. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys see my pretty, pretty, pretty face every Monday and every Friday. 150 subscribers. I'm going to tell you guys how my little boo, he got exposed. And he was doing some gay things in the video. And it literally went around the entire school, you guys. Like, anyways. So, yeah. Socials are going to be in the description down below or somewhere on the screen. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.